This is Grave Fighter Kirkyard, and I think some other Harry Potter characters are on gravestones, and that's I think this is the best view of Edinburgh that you can get, because you've got it all. We found a place that does vegan haggis. Scotland. I'm like a fashion icon at the moment. Yay. But my hair has never felt better. That crunchy, hard feeling. It's great, I recommend 10 out of 10. Not to mention this, like, do you know what? I've looked worse, which is saying something. <laughs> in Edinburgh, checked in, sh showered, looking less fashionable than before. We found a place that does vegan haggis. So it's in a stuffed sweet in a stuffed potato, not sweet potato. Yeah. And we also got a curry bun. And they're playing music. What do you think of the haggis? Ten out of ten. Song ten out of ten. <laughs> Come to the baked potato. So, we're in Edinburgh. For those who aren't as crazy as I am, Edinburgh is where J.K. Rowling lived and where she wrote Harry Potter. I'm going to... I didn't realise this when I was in Edinburgh last time. So, I'm spending the entire day doing all of the Harry Potter hotspots that I missed out on last time. So, the first one we're going to go to is... Victoria Street, which is what they based Diagon Alley on. So, we're heading there now. <laughs> Street is Grave Fighters Kirkyard, which is where Tom Riddle and I think some other Harry Potter characters are on gravestones, and that's where they got their names. So we're gonna go in and try and find them. found him after much deliberation. There is a pamphlet you can get from the church, which tells you where they are, which I advise because it took us way too long to find because this church is bigger than you think it is. It's actually a really nice graveyard because you get views of the, ch the castle as well. Did you notice? Yeah, yeah. There's some really good city views. Across the road from here is the Elephant Cafe, which is where J.K. Rowling wrote the first chapter of Harry Potter in the Foster Stone. We're going to go there, have some afternoon tea. So the next stop is the Elephant House, which is just 30 seconds walk from the graveyard. There it is.
in the house. We're going to let them in a pile of this. And so Dan is one of them. And I'm going to be grabbing. It's going to chill out here a little bit. It was super yummy. The branding was a good spot. I'm hoping for the inspiration to hit and write my own JK Rowling-esque novel. So we've actually come to Carlton Hill, which is just a lookout over the whole city and it's actually really beautiful. And so here you can see the Arctic Sea, which is what we climbed last time we were here, worth doing. A bit intense, but really good views if you have a nice day, which we did. And then there's also Edinburgh Castle on the other side over there. Um, and that's Edinburgh Castle, which you definitely can do with you. We've probably been here before, but we've done last time, so we're not doing it this time. But really good photo opportunity here. I think this is the best view of Edinburgh that you can get because you've got it all. I agree. Castle Seat. Castle Hill is good. Also, we came at. 3.30 and it's not too busy. Yay. Busy. It's always busy, but doable. Yeah, you can get a photo. With a bit of patience, you can get a good photo. So we are in Scotland, in the Highlands, for Dan's sister's wedding. So it's a Scottish wedding in Scotland. <laughs> Get all the Instagrams. 